Toronto and welcome to Luca's Learning Show where we learn about how learners learn. And today on the show we have a very special guest. Please give a warm welcome to the one and only Lita Green. Thanks for having me. You're welcome Lita, it's good to see you again and tell us about that snazzy sweater. I got it for as a gift for Christmas. Wonderful, keep that spirit with you all year. I will. Excellent. Well let's get right to it. Lita, you are a master at many learning things and one of those things is how you manage your time. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that, what works for you? I can. Great. Well the first thing that I do is I love to get my homework done at school because then I get to enjoy the rest of my night and, and I have the rest of my night off and so I can go on my phone, I can text people, I can call people, I can like interact with my family, friends, um, and I don't have to worry, worry about stress and I can go to bed with, an, um, with a fresh new, new mind. Right, so then you're saying you like to get your homework done quickly and what about when you go home, is it the first thing you do? Well, not exactly. Um, well, the first thing I do is I take my coat off, yep. I hang it up, um, I get a snack, I get a drink of water or something, and I and I get right down to it. Right. And my mom and dad are very pleased to have someone who's hardworking and who's willing to get right to work. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. Uh, that's amazing. That's really that's a great lesson for all of us. Get that work done quick and then enjoy your day. Right. Your yeah. Evening. Nice. Tell us something else that uh, helps you with your time management with your work. Well, um, it's very useful for me to have a one-on-one -on -one, um, person who works with me mm. and and it really helps me understand the work a lot better. Great. Because if there is like a lot of students or a lot of like teachers, I don't like that. I like having a one-on-one -on -one tu tutor who's okay. teaching me. It helps you focus. Yeah, it helps no me focus, no distractions. and. It's really great to have, to be able to um, go to my tutor in the mornings because then I get. And yeah, tell us, done. tell us about that place. Okay, the place I go to in the morning is called Angus Lloyd, mm -hmm. um, and it is a very wonderful place because it it can teach you how to be a better you. The, the reason why I go to that place in the morning is because after school I have a lot of activities mm -hmm. and so I get my learning done there and then in the afternoon I come here mm -hmm. where I get all the like learning strategies and, mm -hmm. the, and the, the fun life involvement that you are in. Uh, tell me a little bit about how listening to music works well for your time management of your getting your work done. Why I like listening to music is because it blocks out all the background noise. Right. Even even at home when my brother's on a, on the phone or on Skype or whatever, mm -hmm. talking to his girlfriend, um, um, it blo it blo it completely blocks out all the distractions, all the noise. Uh, like I really like m listening to music. So you feel like you can still focus on work, read the things you have to read, write the things you have to write while there's music. Mm hmm. Great. Now, do you listen to like Taylor Swift and upbeat dance music? Or no. Okay. I listen. To, the kind of music that I listen to is soft, mellow music and calming music. Talk about three great time management skills, Toronto. So, Lita, could you tell us a little bit when it comes time to studying? What helps you focus? How do you learn best when it comes to studying work? When I'm in a quiet place, I really like it when I can focus mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I can get my work done efficiently. So that means without mistakes and without like any distractions and, on my, and I can focus on complete my work. And if I need help, I'll just ask the teacher for help. Great. So you're not afraid of asking for help when you need it? Nope. That's it's one. only when when I'm not sure mm -hmm. of what needs to be done. So Lita, talking about multiple intelligences, what are some learning styles that suit you best? Well, the two, um, uh, the two multiple intelligences that suit me best is auditorial, because I like to be like 
told like told what to do and I like visual because I like to see what I'm doing. Great, so would you say you'd like a mix of reading uh, instructions on the board but also having a teacher repeat them and clarify them for you? Both of those things? Yes. Great. Uh, you strike me as a bit of an artistic learner as well. Do you like working with your hands and doing creative things? Yeah. Tell us about um, a recent assignment you did for your uh, working with infants and children class. I made a book. Wow. <laughs> so you're an author. Yeah. Toronto, line up for autographs at your nearest Indigo starting this weekend. Lita <laughs> Green, what's the name of your book? The Lost Teddy Bear. Wow, and who is your co-author? Michaela. Michaela, wonderful. Congratulations <laughs> on that. Thank you. Great. Well, you sure have found some great success uh, at your school and in other areas of your life. My question for you now is, what do you think you need to do to continue having such great success? Well, I need to hand my work, on, f finish my work, and then hand it in on time. Because if I do that, then I wouldn't have any major problems in the fu in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can get into a great college. Great, and what you just said by handing work in on time goes with everything else you said, which was get right down to work at school, ask for help when you need it, start working right away at home, get it out of the way, you know, have extra time if you need it, uh, and all those things have contributed to your success, and you'll keep, you'll keep doing those things, and you'll continue to find greater and greater success. Could you tell us what maybe one dream of your life might be? Uh, Just one, one you may have many. But... One dream of my life would be to work in a daycare because I love little kids and just just like having a kid come up to me and say would you play blocks with me is kind of really it's my passion to work with little kids so well, I yeah. bet you would just be so wonderful with them <laughs> and just make them smile and feel really happy and cared for wouldn't you yeah well, good luck to you. That sounds amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in to Luca's Learning Show, where we learn about how learners learn. learn. Bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs>